हेलो एंड वेलकम टू इन न्यूज प्रोग्राम टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज आर्टिकल 299 नाइनटी नो इम्यूनिटी टू स्टेट हेल्ड एस सी पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन विल बी द न्यूज वॉट इज आर्टिकल टू नाइनटी नाइन केस बैकग्राउंड जजमेंट कंडीशन ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मेड बाय स्टेट एंड प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन फॉर प्रिलिम्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द न्यूज The Supreme Court in a recent judgment held that the government when entering into a contract under the president's name cannot claim immunity from the legal provisions of that contract under Article 299 of the Constitution. Now let's discuss what is Article 299. Article 299 of the Constitution provides that all contracts made in the exercise of the executive power of the union or of a state shall be expressed to be made by the president or by the governor of the state and that all such contracts and assurances of property made in the exercise of that power shall be executed on behalf of the president or the governor by persons in a manner as directed and authorized by them further the phrase expressed to be made and executed under article 2991 means that there must be a deed or contract in writing and that it should be executed by a person duly authorized by the president of the governor on their behalf article 2992 says that essentially neither the president nor the governor can be personally held liable for such contracts now let's have a look at the background of the case Block Asia Pacific entered into a contract with the Ministry of Home Affairs for the supply of 31756 Glock pistols. Subsequently there was a dispute between the two parties due to the center invoking a performance bank guarantee. Glock invoked arbitration nominating a retired Delhi High Court judge as the sole arbitrator. Government refused to accept the arbitrator as according to the tender notice. The arbitrator shall be the officer in the law ministry appointed by the MHA secretary. Glock challenged this clause in the agreement which allowed a government officer to resolve the difference between the two parties as an arbitrator despite one party being MHA itself. Now moving on to judgment SC delivered the judgment in favor of Glock Asia Pacific as provision for arbitrator linked with party of interest goes against section 125 of the arbitration conciliation act 1996 which prohibit those relations mentioned in schedule 7 of the act to be appointed as arbitrator the court also appointed justice indu malhotra a former sc judge as the sole arbitrator to adjudicate upon the disputes in the case SC held that article 299 only lays down the formality that is necessary to bind the government with contractual liability and not the substantial law relating to the contractual liability of the government which is to be found in the general laws of the land conditions of contract made by state SC reiterated on essential principles for state contract laid down in KP Chaudhary versus state of Madhya Pradesh and others must be expressed to be made by the governor or the governor general must be executed in writing and execution should be by such persons and in such manner as the governor or the governor general might direct or authorize now it's time for the practice question for prelims consider the following statements one provisions related to contracts and suits is present in part 12 of the constitution two governor can be personally held responsible for contracts made in his name under article 298 of the constitution which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two send the answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching